Hello everyone, once again I welcome you to your own channel, today. I have brought a very special movie for you, and this movie is so good that it even won an Oscar in March 2023. People have loved it immensely, and critics have also highly appreciated it. The concept of this movie is so unique that you'll be wondering what's happening, and at the same time, you'll find logical explanations for everything. So, without further ado, let's dive into the explanation of this movie, titled Everything Everywhere All at Once. The movie begins with Evelyn, a woman who lives with her husband Waymond Wang, daughter Joy Wang, and her father Gong Gong. Evelyn and her husband run a struggling laundry business together. She is so engrossed in her work that she doesn't communicate properly with her husband and often argues over small things, creating a strained relationship. Her husband considers divorcing her but can't bring himself to say it when he sees her troubled. It's later shown that it's Evelyn's father's birthday, and Joy, her daughter, comes to see her for the occasion, accompanied by her friend. Evelyn is visibly uncomfortable seeing Joy's friend, as Joy is a lesbian and was having an affair with her friend. Evelyn doesn't want her father, Gong Gong, to know about this. She fears it would damage his perception of Joy. Consequently, she keeps this secret from him. However, Joy dislikes her mother hiding this fact, as she continually refuses to let her meet her friend. Meanwhile, due to the laundry business's poor performance, the tax department has initiated an audit on Evelyn, leading her to gather necessary documents with her husband's help. Together with Wang, Gong Gong, and Evelyn, they head to the tax department's office with the documents. While in an elevator, something strange happens to Wang. It seems like he's being controlled by an external force. He first hides the CCTV camera using his chest and then attaches a device to Evelyn's ear. Instantly, a flood of images from her childhood to the present day appear before her eyes, as if she's reliving those moments. She sees how she and Wang first met, how they argued, yet she chose to marry him and has been with him ever since. She witnesses the birth of joy and her life with her husband, Wang. As she absorbs all of this, Wang speaks to her, explaining that her life is in danger. He hands her a paper, telling her to read it and not to ask him anything until he returns to his own world. World. He then returns to normal behavior. Soon after, the three of them arrive at the office where the lady works. She talks about the laundry business, but Evelyn's focus is on the paper her husband gave her just a short while ago. Faced with the dilemma, Evelyn follows the instructions on the note. She switches her shoes, covers her eyes, imagines herself in the janitor's room, and presses the green button on the device. In an instant, she finds herself in the janitor's room. However, she experiences the sensation of being in two places at once, both in the janitor's room and in front of the lady at the desk. Another version of Wang appears in the janitor's room, explaining that multiple versions of different worlds exist within this universe, and he has come from another one. He asks for Evelyn's help, revealing that a malevolent force is trying to conquer his world, and only Evelyn can stop it. He explains that this force is aware of the multiverse and is systematically killing all the versions of Evelyn across different worlds. Suddenly, the lady from the desk also appears in the room and attacks Evelyn and the alternate version of Wang. She kills Wang and then attacks Evelyn. Just as the lady attacks, Evelyn is transported back to her original world. In her own world, the lady informs her that the papers are not complete and gives her one last chance to submit them. She urges Evelyn to hurry and submit her papers. As Evelyn, her husband, and father head back to submit the papers, she senses that the lady from the other universe is pursuing her to kill her. Just as the lady is about to catch up, the alternate version of Wang reappears within Evelyn's husband and manages to fend off the lady. The security guards arrive on the scene, but then we see that in another universe, the alternate Wang has fought off the guards and saved Evelyn. The movie leaves us with a complex and intriguing blend of alternate universes, multiple versions of characters, and a fight against a malevolent force that spans across realities. It explores themes of identity, choices, and the interconnectedness of different versions of ourselves across different possibilities. After this, he tells Evelyn that he is from the Alphaverse, which is similar to this universe but a different one. Then he explains that only the people from the Alphaverse have discovered the technique that allows us to travel from our own universe to other universes while staying in our own universe. He then reveals that the Evelyn from the Alphaverse is a great scientist who invented this device. With its help, people can connect with avatars from other universes while staying in their own and can also communicate with them and acquire their skills, just like he is doing now. He further explains that the Evelyn from the Alpha Universe has been taken over by a malevolent power there, which we later find out is none other than Evelyn's daughter, Joy. After that, Wang starts teaching Evelyn how to travel from one universe to another, which they call Verse Jump. Wang explains that even in the Alpha Verse, Evelyn's daughter was Joy, upon whom Evelyn conducted an experiment. Due to the experiment's failure, Joy transformed into this malevolent entity. She then started traversing through different universes, killing her mother in each. Wang informs Evelyn that Joy is crafting something in the Alphaverse that poses a threat to all other universes. 
So, they need to stop her at any cost. But before that, Evelyn needs to understand her powers. After this, they hide in a room to escape from a guard. The same lady who was present earlier is there, and she gets possessed by the fiery power from another universe within her. She then chases them to kill them. Just as Wang is about to press his green button to initiate a verse jump for both Evelyn and himself, the possessed lady appears. She throws Wang into another room and keeps Evelyn with her. Due to this, Wang and Evelyn become separated. After this, Wang tells her that he's going to perform a verse jump, and she needs to do the same. They have to go to a universe where there's another Evelyn who knows martial arts. She needs to learn from her so she can fight the possessed lady in this universe. Despite her efforts, Evelyn struggles to initiate a verse jump, and Wang, disappointed, decides to jump alone, saying that he might have chosen the wrong Evelyn. As soon as Wang from the Alpha Verse departs, the Wang from this universe returns and starts questioning Evelyn. She grabs him and starts to flee, but the possessed lady follows them closely. Just as the lady is about to attack Evelyn, she successfully performs a verse jump, learns martial arts in the other universe, and quickly launches an attack on the lady in this world. At the moment of attack, the Wang from the Alpha Verse returns into the body of the Wang from this universe. Witnessing all of this, Evelyn becomes extremely distressed and demands an explanation from Wang. He tells her that in the Alpha Verse, both he and Evelyn taught many children how to perform verse jumps. During this time, the Alpha Verse Evelyn discovered that their daughter Joy had a much more powerful ability to perform verse jumps than anyone else. This led her to experiment on Joy, but the experiment failed disastrously. And due to her daughter's constant verse jumping across different universes, her mind loses control, causing her emotions to dissipate. As a result, she becomes capable of traversing various universes without the need for a device. This means that Joy from the Alpha Verse can travel through multiple universes simultaneously. This unique ability gives the movie its name. Meanwhile, guards apprehend both Evelyn and Wang. Just as the Alpha Verse Joy arrives, she has come to rescue Evelyn, and in a stunning display, she defeats all the guards one by one. During this chaos, Evelyn attempts to jump into another universe to acquire martial arts skills. However, she mistakenly ends up in a universe where humans have large fingers. Curiously, the lady behind the desk in this universe happens to be her best friend. Just as Joy defeats the guards, she confronts Evelyn. She transports Evelyn to a universe where she shows her multiple versions of Joy's life, explaining that love has no meaning across universes. Joy is filled with pain and suffering in every universe. Relationships hold no significance. After this revelation, she tries to force Evelyn into a black hole. At this critical moment, Gong Gong, Evelyn's father from the Alpha Verse, arrives inside her father in this universe and saves her from Joy's grasp. After these events, everyone gathers in a room, including both Evelyn and Joy. However, the Alpha Verse Joy manages to inhabit the body of the universe's Joy. Despite the situation, Evelyn takes no chances and restrains her own daughter, securing her in place. Then, the father of the Alpha Verse Evelyn addresses the universe's Joy, stating that if she remains alive, the Alpha Verse Joy will continue to infiltrate her. Every opportunity she gets, the Alpha Verse Joy will attempt to kill Evelyn. This would ultimately lead to the end of all universes, one by one. One, Evelyn firmly opposes such drastic measures. Her father, frustrated by her refusal, points a gun at Joy, but just in time, Evelyn intervenes to stop him. Seeing her determination, he contacts a team of Alpha Jumpers from his verse to deal with Joy collectively, aiming to eliminate the threat. This leads to a remarkable scene in the movie where Evelyn jumps into various universes in quick succession, acquiring different abilities with each jump. She fights against the Alpha Jumpers, defeating them one by one. Witnessing this, the Alpha Verse Wang acknowledges her strength, admitting that she is the only one who can stop Joy now. He praises her for her actions, noting that what she has just done is unprecedented. During this confrontation, the Alpha Verse Joy confronts the Alpha Verse Wang and kills him to ensure he won't be able to help Evelyn in the future. This act is meant to prevent him from assisting Evelyn again. As Evelyn defeats the Alpha Verse Wang in the Alpha Verse Universe, the Alpha Verse Wang from Evelyn's Universe returns to consciousness, having escaped the Alpha Verse. At this moment, the Alpha Verse Joy arrives in Evelyn's Universe once again, intent on killing Evelyn. However, this time when Evelyn tries to fight against Joy with the help of various Universe versions of herself, her mind becomes overwhelmed. The simultaneous connection to her multiple avatars across different universes causes her to lose consciousness. She collapses due to the strain of coordinating her actions across multiple universes, all at once. In each universe, the battles between Evelyn and Joy intensify as they engage in combat. 
However, a dangerous twist unfolds. Until now, everyone believed that the Alpha vs. Joy aimed to kill Evelyn. Amidst their battles, the Alpha vs. Joy reveals to Evelyn that in every universe, she has witnessed her mother, but Evelyn is different. She acknowledges that Evelyn stands out as unique, unlike her mother who remains unhappy and unresponsive across universes. The Alpha vs. Joy wishes for Evelyn to accompany her and stay with her in the universe she has created, one where she is loved and cared for. Evelyn is moved by the Alpha vs. Joy's words and begins to consider joining her in that universe. However, as she makes this choice, her avatars in each universe start displaying negative emotions, fighting among themselves, and appearing distressed. This is because the universe that the Alpha vs. Joy created is filled with sorrow and pain. As Evelyn moves towards the universe the Alpha vs. Joy created, the negative energy of that universe affects each of her avatars, causing them to exhibit the emotional weight of that universe. The movie thus showcases the complex interplay between different universes, emotions, and choices. It explores the concept of parallel universes and the impact of emotions across them, leading to a climactic confrontation between Evelyn and the Alpha vs. Joy. Meanwhile, in the real world, during Gong Gong's birthday party, the lady from the desk arrives with a few guards. However, at that moment, the Wang from this world contacts her and requests a bit more time to submit the documents. Upon his request, the lady agrees and grants him some extra time. This act resonates with Evelyn making her feel positive about this universe. The various versions of Evelyn across universes begin to experience a sense of well-being, as the Evelyn who was about to enter the universe with the Alpha vs. Joy realizes that the Wang from another universe has prevented people from fighting. She understands that this world isn't solely filled with sorrow, it contains compassion and love as well. This realization leads her to reconsider joining the Alpha vs. Joy. She declines the offer, and the Alpha vs. Joy activates the wormhole within the black hole-like universe they were in. The black hole starts pulling everyone inside, immersing them in pain and suffering. In response, Evelyn comprehends that by introducing a positive change within those who are being pulled, she can alter their mindset. Her efforts prove successful, and the people who are being drawn into the black hole begin to return to their respective universes. Eventually, Evelyn's own universe comes into focus, and in the end, she remembers her daughter Joy, the Alpha vs. Joy, who orchestrated this whole situation. Using her connection with Joy's mind, Evelyn communicates with her. She makes Joy realize that her mother understands her and cares for her. This realization prompts Joy to halt the activation of the black hole's wormhole. At that moment, Evelyn decides to verse jump to the universe where she can have a a conversation with her daughter Joy. There, she witnesses Joy expressing her frustrations and feeling unheard, saying, you never listen to me, and you never understand me. However, Evelyn responds by assuring Joy that she genuinely wishes well for her, regardless of which universe she comes from. Evelyn emphasizes that she understands Joy well, cares for her, and that's why she prevents her from engaging in certain activities. She loves her daughter immensely and wants to protect her from making mistakes. Hearing these heartfelt words, Joy immediately embraces her mother Evelyn, feeling a sense of warmth and connection. As Joy embraces her mother, the Alphaverse version of Joy from within the original Joy's mind is pulled into the black hole. In the end, within the current universe, only Evelyn and her daughter Joy remain, connected through their love and understanding. The movie beautifully explores the dynamics of relationships, empathy, and the profound impact of choices across different versions of existence. Thank you for sharing the story. It sounds like a fascinating and complex plot with multiple universes, emotions, and twists. If it's a movie concept, it definitely has the potential to be thought-provoking and engaging.